Are you ready? Again, a good, uh, good illustration of starting off your technique with a leg switch. Now, with the leg switch, immediately you're getting back to the side of your power. Or John, look as you did from his uh, left leg, uh, leg switch into a power uh, right leg, going through with a uh, roundhouse, immediately coming, coming up with the roundhouse on the other side as well, picking the hands up again with a jab cross and following through with a nice slicing leg kick. Very important, guys, here with the leg kick is. When you do throw that leg kick, make sure it cuts in nice and deep, just above the knee. Um, you don't always have to kick for the ribs. This is, especially when you're fighting the guys, they tend to think that the kickboxers can only throw up kicks just uh, above the belt. Guys, um, this is how you bluff your opponent. If you keep on putting those high kicks in there constantly and immediately slicing through with a low kick. Same as well with the guys uh, fighting in low kicks or K1 fights. People tend to think that they can only kick to the legs. You surprise your opponent when you start kicking through the ribs and head. So guys, you're just throwing it up on both sides. So once again, what John Luke did here is, did the leg switch, bring the power to the other side, falling through with his body, uh, transferring the power on the other side of the leg, bring the hands back into play with the jab cross, and immediately slicing through with the leg kick after that cross went out. Okay guys, so that's the best way you will get your low kicks to be effective, is immediately falling through after you threw a punch. Because the, the, the concentration of your opponent is immediately in defending the punches that come to him. So as soon as the hand, those hands are up guys, immediately after you fired out with that cross, you can follow through the low kick, burning the legs. Nine or ten guys, when that leg lands, he might take one, he might take two, he might even take three. But guys, after the third kick, he's immediately going to start to feel that leg and you will see that your opponent will start favoring the other side of his stance because that leg was completely numbed out. That's the nice thing about low kicks, they are there for a reason. Okay guys, you chop off the legs, the body will fall, the head will come being served on a silver platter. So guys, once again, let's just look at this technique again. So John Luke goes with the leg switch, falling through with another kick, hands into play, slicing through with that low kick. Once again guys, go to the bags, best place for you to start training in those combinations of punches and kicks. So immediately bring those kicks in, follow through with hands, finishing off with low kicks you can even be to the inside as well guys you can immediately set up your kicks by throwing inside leg kick jab cross outside low kick so mix it up up to you guys get on the bag try these combinations get onto the pads take it to the fight thanks guys for tuning in see you in the next one Thanks for watching that. I really do hope you enjoyed it and it's going to add some value to your game. Please subscribe to our channel, like and share, help us get it out there. Till next time, thanks.